somebody is going to jail confessing and going in this is so beautiful you know because one way or another you have experienced this and you will continuously experience this but most importantly i would like you to get something that the lord does but you're not paying attention what the lord is doing and you're not paying attention listen this is so common have you ever seen people or been in a position where people they begin to confess or they fight they turn against one another where they start to uh, expose one another that it was this person who said this about you this person even that they said this like you just begin to experience things that you are not thinking things which were being said behind your back now this is what i'm talking about there is going to jail that is happening there is a sentence that the lord gives those that persecute you the day of the evil one is coming their wicked days are are coming to an end don't you ever think for once that as they continue to hurt you as you continue to do things god is not no 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 no. like as in like god is not doing anything or is not thinking about it no you must understand that the lord works according to the calendar that is why each and everything if right now you can just try to sit down okay think about what i'm saying the lord when they are busy doing what they are doing against you remember at that moment you are getting hurt they are inflicting damage they are doing it's like they're having fun they're having some good time they are seeing things they're getting away with it they are doing things they are getting away with it but a day does arrive where now god the almighty deals with them and that is when you realize now the things begin to fall apart that is why one of the greatest examples I can give you is examples such as when somebody been in a position where you see their life falling apart. Sometimes you wonder why. Sometimes you pray and your prayers are not working. You do not know that that person, they are not suffering naturally, not because they are going through the wilderness, but the Lord knows that person's heart and he is coming through for you because he knows the, what that person been doing and that is why it is very that important for you to call to to pray every time because when you are always in prayer when you are a devoted christian such it activates it enables your prayers to go against each and everybody that never gets tired but they keep on speaking wickedness against you they keep on wishing bad against you and to make waters worse is they are not willing to repent we have such people people such people as like they do you one bad at this moment and as you catch them red-handed instead of them to repent and say you know what i'm sorry i made a mistake that's what they say of course they do apologize but funny enough is the following day the next moment they repeat the same thing they continuously repeat the same thing that's why one of the greatest examples that we have in the bible it is an example of king saul and david david spared that man many times but the man instead of appreciating and begging off changing his mindset against david he went on to try to attempt to kill david again likewise in your case this is how they operate they apologize they speak things they pretend before you but only to go back you see just describe that you does okay first of all he described and explained that satan he has been sinful from the very beginning that is why when he fell down from heaven it was not a thing that happened at the moment the man had long been rebellious and his day finally came a day came where god was like just like he said in the book of genesis chapter 15 when he was like their sins are not yet complete they're relating to referring to what the canaanites i'm gonna drive them out and bring my children back to canaan 
but the, the sins of the Amorites are not yet complete. That is our God. Even those that he knows, they were not bringing up after him. He knew that it was not right. It was not proper for him to just, out of the blue, drive them out of their land, except there be a reason that they have sinned. They have done this to deserve being chased away. Child of God, I'm telling you likewise, your enemy has a day of sentence where they are going straight to jail. And at that time, there is nothing they can do about it. Saul, I mean King Saul, the man who was king who had been spared, there came a time when he consulted to the people who practice divinity and stuff, and he inquired about, <clears throat> about the Lord and all these things. But the Lord, the or Samuel, spoke. He wanted to know, he wanted uh, Samuel to con con consult the Lord and all these things. But as Samuel responded, he was like, you are going to die in a battle, you and your entire household. There was no mercy given to Saul because his day had finally arrived. He tried to beg, he cried, please pray to the Lord, let him have mercy on me. Let him give me one more chance. Let him forgive me. And someone will be like, no, 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 no. Tomorrow you are going to die. Your time is up. That is why I want to tell somebody, your enemy is being sentenced. There is somebody that is being sentenced. Every wickedness that they have done against you, God says, now is the time. That is why when he finally comes through, he makes it, he makes it count. Meaning and indicating that all along, his delay, delay was not his denial. He was up to something. And when he finally sees, I know that sometimes it is painful when you see people struggling, suffering, and you be like, but God, why this person? Listen, the Lord had time. He had given such a person time to repent, but the person was unwilling. That was the perfect time for the Lord to come through. That is why I'm telling you in Jesus' mighty name. Don't be shocked when out of the blue, they begin to confess, expose each other. No, I didn't say that. He, you are the one. She is the one. He is the one who said this. And you'll be like, oh, what's going on? Oh, I, said, I can't believe you said this behind my back. Listen. Glorify the name of God because he is exposing them. Now they are turning against each other. And I pray any remaining enemy of your life and progress, may they expose one another in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And that's all I had. My details on the comment section below. See you next time.